Hey guys, so we're going to be answering more interview questions for Rust. Uh, we're doing this on leetcode.com. So the next, we just completed a reverse string, so the next is a single number. So, given a non-empty array of integers, every element appears twice except for one. Find that single one. So what they're saying here is, you have pairs of values in an array, so like 2, 2, and then one single value, which is 1 here, or 4, 1, 2, 1, 2. The single value here would be 4. It has no pair. The others have pairs. Um, it's, it's only going to be one single value. Now, there's a few different ways we could do this. And originally, I was overthinking this and making it very complicated. But considering they only have one single value that's unique, um, that makes it actually very simple. Because we can use a bitwise operation here. So if we do let mute y equal 0, and then we go and do x in nums, nums being our vector of uh, integers, our vectors like an array in Rust, similar. Um, so we have 4x in nums, y equals y, exclusive r bitwise operation x. Now we return y. And it's as simple as that. If I run this code, it should work. Now you're probably wondering, well, what's going on here? Yeah, we got an accepted response, accepted result. So we're using this bitwise operation, right? Bitwise operations work on the binary level. And then XOR operation, basically what happens is the if you have a value like this, this is 5, but written in binary, and this is 3 written in binary. Uh, so the ones will cancel each other out to be zero, and a zero and one will just give you a one, and a zero and zero will just give you zero. So if you had two values the exact same, for example, here we have one zero and one zero, that will give you zero, zero. So you get a zero here. Now, of course, you have the eight, which is a zero, one, gives you one. But in our example, we have 2 and 2. The 2 will cancel out the 2 and just leave you with a 1. Uh, the 1 will cancel out the 1. The 2 will cancel out the 2, leaving you with the 4. Now, this might not work if you're dealing with more unique values than just one single unique value. But please correct me if I'm wrong on that. But I don't believe it would. Um, and if you learn about your binary system, it's important for or for computer science to know this kind of thing. So if we have a base of 2, you can see the values here are 1, 2, 4, 8. Looking at our example here, we have 1 and then 2, so that's our 2 there. And then we have our 10, which is 2 and 8. So we have our 1, 2, 4, 8. So the 1s are nothing. They're not on. The 2s cancel each other out, so this gets left with, this is, becomes 0, and this becomes 8, because we're only left with the 8. And then that's what passes on here, because there's nothing to cancel out this one. And that's how the XOR operator works, and that's why it solves this uh, very simply for us. Otherwise, we'd have to figure out a very complicated way to do that, and I think this is just more efficient. Submit. There we go. Let me know if you have any questions.